this is our case today. This is a patient that has back pain with spondylolisthesis. The L4 vertebral body slips forward on the L5 vertebral body. So we're going to go in anteriorly and do the anterior lumbar fusion that you're familiar with from prior videos. Then we're going to go posteriorly and connect the spinous processes together with a tension band called an interspinous device. We'll show you how we do that today. What an interspinous device does is it, it, it clamps onto the spinous processes to secure them and create a tension band. With a patient on, on his or her belly, we'll make a small incision, open down to the spinous processes, those bones that you can feel in your back, take out the lim ligament between the two that you want to secure together, and then simply drop this down into position, loosen the, oh, the, the nut that's securing it, and with a, a set of crimpers, crimp it together on the top and on the bottom, and then tighten the lock nut, and you'll be finished. So the device is now in between the L4 and the L5 spinous process. We're going to get it positioned, clamped into place, and then not only will she have stability in the anterior column, but she'll have a posterior tension band, and at the same time, I will do a facet fusion, minimizing the amount of muscle dissection, and give her stability anteriorly and posteriorly. You saw the MRI showing the spondylolisthesis. Now you can see the spondylolisthesis has been corrected anteriorly. We restored the alignment from anteriorly, put in the fixation device, and then posteriorly put in the interspinous device. She's now aligned well, no more stress on that level, and this should help significantly with her back pain. I'm Dr. Larson, thank you for watching.